Hi guys, Alberto here, you're watching the Bedroom Rocker YouTube channel and today we are checking out the Black Star Department 10 Dual Drive. This is an awesome tube-based dual channel overdrive slash preamp pedal which also has an inbuilt DSP cabinet simulation function. I'm gonna start by playing the pedal over a backing track using all available settings, then we're gonna deep dive into the main use cases and into the main specs. Then I'm gonna show you a couple of isolated guitar tracks and finally we'll move on to the review part. So grab a drink, sit tight and let's go! Department 10 is Black Star's R&D division and they came up with this pretty cool new line of pedals which includes a single channel booster, a dual channel distortion and the dual channel drive that I'm covering today. They are all tube based so they have an ACC83 on them running at 200 volts which is similar to what you get in a real tube amp. Besides that, on the dual drive and the dual distortion, you also get a DSP based cabinet simulation. So you can essentially use this as an amp plus cabinet replacement and send a signal straight into your audio interface for recording or into front of house if you are performing live. The controls on the Department 10 Dual Drive are fairly straightforward, so you have two foot switches to activate the channels independently, you cannot really stack them. Then we have a shared 3-band EQ and Blackstar's famous ISF or infinite shape feature. This is essentially an EQ shaping feature, mostly with the mids. Uh, if you put it all the way to the left, you get more of a punchy mid-heavy sound, uh, which is the American side. And if you put it all the way to the right, you get sort of a darker mid scooped sound, which is the British side. Each one of the channels have two different voicings. On the right or left channel, you get a clean and a crunch voice. And on the right or red channel, you get then another crunch voicing and an overdrive voicing, which to me sounds more like a distortion. In terms of connection, we have the guitar input, then we have an effects loop, which is awesome to place your delays and reverb. And then we have the regular output, if you're sending this into the front end of your amp or even into the effects return of your amp. And we have the cab rig output, which contains the cabinet simulation. On the back, we have the XLR output, also with the cabinet simulation and the USB audio out. So this can be used for recording and for controlling Blackstar's cab rig software and for storing your cabinet presets into the pedal. Finally, you have the DC jack. This pedal takes a regular uh, center negative 9 volt power supply, which is awesome. But of course, it takes a lot of juice to keep that tube running. So it consumes about 500 milliamps of electrical current, uh, which is quite a bit. The Architect is Blackstar's software for controlling the cabinet simulation or the cab rig feature and I found it very intuitive to use. So you have a couple of different power amp simulation models. 
You have then many different cabinets, 1x12s, 2x12s, 4x12s to choose from. They do not disclaim the company's names or the brand names, the speaker names, which I found a bit of putting, but you get a decent variety to choose from. And then you have also different choices of microphones uh, and even the option to blend a stereo room microphone into it. So you got a lot of tone shaping possibilities there. Then you can save a bunch of different presets in your computer and you can store up to three of them in the pedal uh, that you can select from using the central toggle switch. I use cabinet simulation quite a lot to record my videos and I have two big critics here. The first one is that you cannot blend two different types of microphone and get a stereo pan out of them. So I usually like to blend a dynamic mic like a SM57 with some kind of ribbon mic and then play with different pannings, but this is not possible here. Another thing is that you cannot load your own IRs into the pedal, which I think is going to be a major deal breaker for many people who already have their favorite IRs from other brands like Celestion, Non Hammer and so on. So now let's use a looper pedal to play through all the settings in the pedal. I'm gonna use the cab rig output straight into my audio interface for recording using the three different cabinet models that come by default in the pedal. Let's hear some more sound samples now using the Department 10 Dual Drive as a regular overdrive pedal. So it's gonna hit the front end of my Victory V40 amplifier. I'm using a Harley Benton 1x12 cabinet loaded with a Celestion G12H75 speaker mic'd up with a T-Bone Beta MB75 microphone. <laughs> Thank you. 
So let me know what you think about the sounds, the features and the looks of this awesome Black Star Department 10 Duo Drive. Overall, I think this is a great unit. It's very well designed, well built, packed with features and most importantly, uh, with some freaking awesome sounds in it. It's got a very powerful EQ, a wide range of gain, so it's a very versatile pedal uh, with two different voices per channel as well. So you can really dial in a bunch of different sounds from clean, crunch, overdrive and distortion. It can be a bit tricky sometimes because of this wide array of options, uh, but once you nail the sound, it, it does sound pretty good. And you can really feel the, the tube in it as well. So it has this nice compression and, and the cleanup, it reacts to your playing uh, in a very similar way to what the tube amp uh, would do. And in my opinion, the cabinet simulation feature is a great plus for a modern player uh, like me that wants to keep playing their tubes but cannot afford to have a blasting 4x12 cabinet uh, in the stage or in the bedroom. One thing I didn't like so much about the pedal is that I feel the clean channel uh, should have a little bit more headroom. So to get a really pristine clean sound, I really had to crank the volume all the way up. And I feel at best it goes only slightly above uh, unity volume. So I think this is not really suitable to be used as a clean boost. Then we have also the limitations I have previously mentioned it on the cabinet simulation side. So we are not really able to blend different microphones in a stereo panning and not able to load third party IRs in there. So I think it's cool to see Blackstar getting into the cabinet simulation game and they did a pretty good job with the software. But then at the same time, I think forcing people to use their proprietary format uh, maybe wasn't the best uh, solution. Uh, in my case, for example, I use the Two Notes Wall of Sound uh, software for cabinet simulation and it's a free awesome software and they actually have a bunch of Blackstar cabinets in there. So I would prefer to get a license to use the Blackstar cabinets in the Wall of Sound uh, rather than getting a full new software uh, developed from scratch, which probably also took a lot of manpower and resources. Now, don't get me wrong, the software is great. It does what's supposed to do, but it has these limitations which are quite important for me. At the same time, I'm quite curious to see how Blackstar uh, takes it from here because I really feel it has a lot of potential uh, to further develop and the sounds are already pretty good. In terms of pricing, the Department 10 Dual Drive goes for about 290 euros here in Germany. So in my opinion, it is priced very competitively considering the excellent uh, design builds and sound quality that you get and all the tone shaping and cabinet simulation features. Also, I don't think there are many alternatives in the market. There are a bunch of tube-based preamp pedals and a bunch of IR loaders, but there are seldom any other product that combines uh, both of these technologies uh, in a single affordable and compact unit uh, that also feels very durable for gigging and is also very pedal board friendly. So if you know of any other alternatives, do let me know in the description box down below. This video was made possible by Sound Service and Blackstar, so they were kind enough to lend me the Department 10 Duo Drive for a couple of weeks so that I can try it out and create this video. So a massive thank you and I'll link them both in the description box down below. So that's it for today. I really hope the review was helpful and fun to watch. If that's the case, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more guitar and gear related content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay tuned for future videos. Also, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to support the Bedroom Rocker YouTube channel, make sure to check my affiliate links in the description box. If you use them to buy anything, I earn a small commission and this really helps me to keep going, getting more products and making reviews like this one at no additional cost for you. Keep on rocking and cheers. Thank <laughs> you.